friends a welcome on back and thank you to the comment section for sh uh, I can't say showing for telling for telling me that there's an advanced crafting information tick box why is this just not turned on by default like come on you ninja add something in a patch that I never played and then I just don't know about it and then it's not even enabled oh my gosh all right so what's it tell us Oh, it tells me. Look, time's cooked. <gasps> oh, that is so awesome. What else does it tell you? Does it tell you, like, how many fish you caught and stuff? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It does! Okay, maybe that was already there. I don't know. What about... Oh, number shipped? Oh, that, that is kind of important, isn't it? Don't you have to ship, like, 15 of everything or something? Or just one of everything for the 100%? Like, I don't... I don't know. What is this? <laughs> is, that a, is that an artichoke? I think. I really don't. I don't know. We've never shipped a leak, apparently. Or, uh, I, I don't know. A void egg, maybe, or something? A duck egg and a void egg, perhaps? Um, hops? Dino egg? Like, I really don't know what some of these things are. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> there are so many things we have to ship, apparently. Well, that's going to be a good time. Hello, friends. Welcome on in to Stardew Valley. Rustic Ridge Farms here with me, your host, Ilham. It's great to see you. Glad you're all here. It's summertime, day one, which means we got a lot to do. A lot to do and not a lot of time to do it. That's right. Let's, uh, oh, we can say hello to Nolan. Hello, Nolan. Good morning. And we'll drop this off with Abigail. I love this. You're the best. You know, I try. All right. Now, what do we have in here that that is speedy? Do we have anything? It's like, well, there's max energy. Is that really what we need? I mean, I feel like... What I need is speed. It's gotta be faster, you know? Oh, that's nice too, yeah. And if what we need is to be faster, then clearly there's only a couple choices. Crab cakes, which I don't want to use, or where did that get off to? Where's those? Yes, here we go, pepper poppers. Oh yeah, let's go. All right. Now then, let's get moving. We got stuff to do. We got to harvest our lovely, lovely uh, beans here. I think what I'll do with this spot right here. Hello, Nugget. Good morning. Thought I'd say hello to you. Uh, I think what we'll do with this spot right up there is we'll just plant some beans there. Um, just to... Then we don't have to worry about this spot anymore. All right, cool. There we go. Our solar panels have some batteries for us. I, I suppose that's nice. And then we have to uh, run around like crazy and uh, get all the, the land ready for some crops. So do we want to plant? Ooh, that's a great question. Well, certainly some melons. We definitely need some melons for some money. I think we'll put those down on the bottom. But that leaves us with this top area. And what are we going to do with that? Hmm. That's a great question. To which I don't know an answer at this moment. However, we'll figure it out very soon. You know, we should really try to get enough cinder shards to upgrade these things so that they do like the the five by and just make our lives easier. Wouldn't that be nice? You know? I feel like it would be. So we'll do one, two, three. But then on the bottom we have to go across. With a boom boom. I missed. Alright, there we go. Okay. Boop, boop. And then a boop, boop, boop. Ta-da! Very nice. Alright. Clear, clear, clear! Hey, he's fine now, sir. Oh, well, that's good to know. Alright, let's get this done. Okay. So, here's Hillhelm's life advice for the day. Should one be married for many years? 
Uh, Hill Home's life advice. Do not take your spouse for granted. That's today's message. My wife, sweetheart that she is, has been working super hard lately. We've had a lot of stuff go weird in real life, and uh, I appreciate her. I uh, got her flowers there today. Her birthday was last week. And uh, for the first time in many years, <laughs> many, many years, we were unable to go out anywhere for her birthday. Uh, but fortunately, a good friend was able to bring us a birthday dinner over for her. And that was really, really nice of them. So we appreciated that a lot. Oh, I like that you can take out the... Uh... That was cool. We took out the... the the bush there also in addition to uh, tilling the land. I like it. Okay, now is this spot anything? Are you one, two? Yeah, okay. That's that's fine. Okay. Sometimes the problem with this is the math, honestly. Like, the math is my problem. Just looking at it like, okay, is this the right? Is this the right thing? I don't even know. We have to go buy crops. We got stuff to do. And we have to water all this at some point too. That's that's gonna be fun. At least this part's easy, like we can just do this. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Oh yeah, so we have another sprinkler right here. It's weird that there's not anything here, <laughs> but well, that's sort of how I farm. So, no, we're just going to leave it. Okay. More here. Oh, we have a... We have a friend up here that we're not going to be able to get rid of. Boom. So, yeah. So, what else do we plant? Um, obviously, melons. We're going to plant some of those. And what else? What else should we plant? That's a great question. Um, some peppers. Um... These pepper poppers are pretty nice. But, uh, but what else? I mean, there's always other things that we can do. I think some red cabbage probably would not go amiss. I'm just trying to think of things that, like, I might need for cooking. <coughs> Excuse me, that we don't have a lot of. Uh, is it rutabaga summertime? Or is that springtime? Are beets summertime? Like, we got to check into these things. Also, we need more coffee. So that's, all of that is something to think about. Okay, let's real fast water down here. And then we're gonna have to run into town to buy our stuff. And then we're gonna have to plant as much as we can. And if it gets watered, it gets watered. And if it doesn't, well, it doesn't. And that's just gonna be how it is, I think. Because at this point, I'm, uh, I'm too lazy to <laughs> just water everything. <laughs> Hang on, I missed a spot. Oh, that is that is unacceptable. We almost ran away before we had done that. Oh, that would have been terrible. Because I guarantee you I never would have seen that spot again. What are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, let's look before we go. So we do have cabbage seeds. We got some corn. Oh, can we do a little corn? Radishes. Peppers. Tomatoes. Wheat. Do I care about wheat? I don't know that I do, but we probably need to ship some. We'll grow some hops. That's fine. Ooh, it's star fruit our summertime. Yes, we should make seeds. Oh, blueberries, of course. Blueberries. Okay. Maybe we leave an area to make. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Clint sent us an iron bar, which is nice of him. Now let's put those away. Okay, to the store. So, hmm. It's already 1.30. <laughs> oh, gosh. <coughs> Why does farming take so much time? Why? All I did is clear land. That's it. Oh, right. You sell everything now. Oh, we need a flower. Yeah. How many melon seeds do we have? Did I not bring the melon seeds? Do I not have melon seeds? Alright, listen, we're gonna buy melon seeds. Okay, like, probably a lot. Okay. Um, 
Let's see. Hang on, let me do math. 24, 48, 96. Okay. And then that would be 120. 164? He says questioningly. Just buy some, it's fine. Uh, we have pepper seeds, we have wheat seeds, we have radishes, poppy or spangle. I think uh, poppy, we'll get a poppy. We have hops, corn, oh, sunflowers. Yes, probably some sunflowers would be nice to have around the farm. We have red cabbage, but we'll, you know, we'll buy some more. Okay, and the pumpkins are fall. Okay, so I guess we're we'll about to check. In the other chest. Now, is that way too many seeds? Probably. That's fine. <laughs> uh, we don't care about that. We'll figure that out as we need to figure that out. All right, let's go here. Now, let's see. Is, are either of you summertime? Springtime? Fall. Okay, so the answer is no. Now then, where, where do I put... Uh... Where are they? Oh, I only have eight. All right, well, that's that makes that easier then. We'll just put them around this right here. It's a bit slow, but that's okay. And then... Um, let's just pause it. Radishes are 16. Peppers, we can do peppers up here. Okay, there's 24 of those, so that'll work out great. All right, and I don't think we need a ton of corn, so. Oh, you know what? We have 24 of these, though. Let's do, let's do those. That'll work. Very good. And then we did want some room for star fruit. Eight. Um, how long do these take? They, these are pretty quick, right? Yeah, four days. All right, here. We'll just. There we go. It's every, every four days we'll just plant some of those. No big deal. Okay, the rest, you guys can go down here on the bottom corn over here. Right, we have 32. That's several sprinklers worth anyway. Okay. We are sadly a little short. That's all right. We can, we can put these over here, and then when these are done, we'll just replant them. All right, that's great. Okay, so what does that leave me with? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunflowers. Put you guys down here. Just do a row like this. Like that. How many does that leave me with? Four? Yeah, that's fine. And then, uh, cabbages. All right, do some cabbages. Let's, let's go up to here. See what that gets us. Cabbages. And if we don't get the star fruit planted on here, that's fine. We can take them to the island. So that's honestly not really a, that big of a deal. And then we definitely want these guys like all up in here. So let's get this. Get this going. I love my blueberries. You all know that. Blueberries are delicious. And I have a great joy in eating them and planting them. And last time it was summer in Stardew, it was summer here. And I was, in fact, enjoying them in real life, which was awesome. All right, now, is that, is that going to be enough blueberries to satisfy me? Um, no, I don't think it is. Let's, let's just plant all of these over here. We have enough, I think, to fill this entire thing, so that's excellent. There we go. We'll drink this. And we'll put our melons over here. We're gonna need a, like a hyper speed grow or a speed grow or something for this flower. Take care of that. Really care about the rest of the fertilizing, honestly, but that will take care of for sure. 
There we go. Okay, now then, we have to water all of this because blueberries need to all grow the same day. That is incredibly important. I do not want to be hunting them down or miss a day on any of them because I didn't get watered the first day. So let's water these real fast. It won't take that long. Then we can go plant our other flower and check out the rest of the farm and see what's going on. I think we got like a million truffles. Um, so that's probably something to pay attention to. <laughs> all right. Let's get it going. Hey, well, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's been hectic for us here. We got a lot going on in real life, but uh, that's okay. You know, sometimes that's just how life is. The unexpected will will get you. So, yeah, it's pretty stressful. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty stressful. Um, but uh, we're we're hanging in there. It, it is busy though. A lot going on. My son goes to like a, like a, I can't, it's not really a camp. It's like a, like a nature center thing this week. And, um, he'll be there for a couple nights with his class and, uh, he's looking forward to that. But it's always a little weird when your, when your kids aren't home. That's kind of going to be different. Okay. That is all taken care of. Now, do we have anything up here that we have to water still, or is all this... Are you also watered? Let's just make sure. I like the answer there was yes, but... Okay, now, let's go put a bunch of these seeds away. And... Oop, 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 oop. I, this one I need. Okay. Now, if I was fertilizer, where would I have put myself? I would be over here. Okay, we need a speed grow, and we need quality fertilizer. Perfect. All right. So the thing that we're going to go do real fast, we're going to go fertilize some stuff down here, the melons in particular. And we need some grass starters. I got to go buy... I got to go buy grass starters. That's, that's a thing that we should do. Also, I think... After these melons are grown, I will move move these over one and then put like another set of sprinklers over so that we can farm more of this strip here, which is probably important to do at some point. There we go. Uh, what were these? These were cabbages, right? So yeah, we can fertilize these too. They bring in a pretty good amount of money, so... The only thing we don't want to do, we don't want to fertilize the blueberries, because that's kind of pointless. Uh, I think it only works on, like, the first harvest or two or something, if I remember right. Unless you have, like, the super ridiculous fertilizer from the island that we don't have right now. So, yeah. So there you go. Okie dokie. Go over here, and we'll do whoop, and then we'll put this. Boop, and then there we go. Okay, that's all taken care of. Ah, what do you want? A Nautilus shell? Is that what that is? Oh. Nuts. I don't, I don't know that I have a Nautilus shell. Uh, handy? Anywhere? <laughs> At all? Okay, let's sell nine and nine, and then... Then we'll know we have to put we have to put four back now because I'm I'm dumb. There, nine and nine. I like it. Well, that was a very busy first day of the season, wasn't it? Look at that. Nautilus shell. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, not, do we have one going somewhere? Alright, let's uh let's make those two while we're here. This wouldn't be too hard to do. Boom boom times and then we'll put the fertilizer away and we'll put that away there we go and we should probably make these into seeds and I think what I'll do is we'll actually grab all of these all right and then sell sell okay and we will go this way for just a moment Boom! 
to the island. Oh, my dog is barking at something. He seems very excited. Winston is often very excited. There, now we can... Okay. Now we can do several. Oh, our pineapples are ready. Our tubers are ready. My goodness. So many things are ready. Can we... No. I've often wondered about that. It's, it is just the hoe. Okay. All right, what do we got? What do you got for me? Ship cuisine. Okay. Family members of the legendary fish. You have three days to... Oh, gosh. Um... Look, my phone's going do 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 And it's making noises for us. Isn't that exciting? I actually check it because there like I said, there's real life stuff going on. Do 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 Okay. Okay, nothing that needs immediate attention. Sorry about that. Alright, let's go over here. Nothing there that we wanted to do. Let's grab this coconut. Boop. Coconut. Ginger. So somebody told me in the comments that if you eat even just raw ginger when you are nauseated from the the new harder enemies in the mines that uh, it uh, removes that condition and I did not know that. That's pretty cool. Can we make it into the house at least? That would be excellent. Oh good. <laughs> we made it inside. That's all we needed to do. Day one of summer is done. All right, 13,000 there. 11. Okay, so it is more beneficial. We must have taken the artisan goods bonus then. Okay, so it is more beneficial to turn our truffles into oil, which means we need more oil machines. That's what that means. That's what I'm, that's what I'm picking up from that. And, um... Yes, that's important. And uh, greenhouse is ready also, which means our wine is ready. Oh my goodness. Look, decoration things. Do we have tables? I could use a, a table. These are dressers. Dressers are not tables. Here we go. Like a, like a nice island table. Ooh, the luau table, maybe. I think the luau table would be... There we go. Yeah, look! Decorations! We need the uh, volcano picture right there in the middle. That's... I just have to remember to bring it over. Also, I love these giant TVs. You stand on the side of them and then you like do the thing. You can actually see it. Look at that. <clears throat> the spirits are neutral today. Okay. A little fishing information. There we go. Summertime fish. Okay, hang on. Actually, let me, let me read through that real quick because... Tuna, pufferfish, carp, don't need. Rainbow trout, we need. Okay. Sunfish, I think we also need. River. Red, oh man. We, <coughs> we are going to have a lot of fish to catch here. Yeah. All right. Well, like I said, I'm going to make myself a list. And we'll figure it out. All right, what do we got going on here? How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. A sea urchin. Well. Apparently you can put hats on sea urchins. I didn't know that either. Learned so much lately about this game. From all of you, mostly. No, we don't want to eat the starfruit. Okay. We do want to drink the coffee, though. That's uh, an important step. Alright, and get our bananas. Our mangoes are taller. It's, we're getting there. Our gem berries are not quite ready. All right, well, let's grab our pineapples and uh, maybe the tarot tubers too, huh? I don't know what we need those for at this point, but I mean, something might come up. Actually, I'm kind of tempted to leave them there, actually, because they prevent anything from showing up. 
but there's more room we have on this farm yet that we can grow crops on, so... I think what we'll end up with is a weird, like, pathway around the edge or something. It's gonna be odd. There we go. Whew! Yeah, so... Yeah, anyway, to go back to my, my son and that story, uh... That'll be interesting, but that's, like, really gonna be one of the first times he's been gone? I mean, he's been to a couple of sleepovers at, like, friends' houses, but that's, like, one night, right? This will be, like, one of the first times he'll be gone at a place that's not, like, a family member or a good friend, you know? So that'll be interesting for him. I think that'll be a good experience. And, uh... <clears throat> My daughter is uh, excited to enjoy then just some time with my wife and I without her brother around. <laughs> <coughs> so that's been kind of a funny conversation between the two of them. She's like, well, I mean, like, I will kind of miss you, but like, it'll be nice to just have mom and dad all to myself. <laughs> like, it's really pretty entertaining. Kids, uh, they're funny. So funny. Well, we are certainly going to be making a little bit of money from these pineapples, just because there's so many of them. I did not realize I had planted so many pineapples. Look at how many is this now? 220 almost? Okay, and then uh, that's a total of like, what, like 240 or something? Pretty close to? My goodness. 239. And if we had this one square right over here, it would be 240. That is a lot. That is a lot of pineapple. Okay. Well, since we're here, let's get some muscle. Uh, yeah, again, just because we might need it for cooking. And then I think what we'll do is we'll look at our recipes and figure out what kind of fish we should probably try to catch today. I would also like to get cinder shards, but I don't think we're going to do that on this episode. I think... We're going to look around for all the summer fish that I need, and we're just going to try and get some of those. And the game just gave us a bunch of wild bait, so it's telling us that we should definitely go fishing. That's what that's telling me. Alright. Alright. Oh, look. Lots of ginger. We should probably get that while we're here, too. In a way, it's a bit of a shame that you can't charge up your pickaxe to, uh... Not to break things, but just to fix the dirt a little bit quicker. I wouldn't want to be able to charge up to hit multiple rocks or anything silly like that, but... To be able to just fix the ground a little faster, would that would be nice. That would be nice. Okay, we have more seeds now. Uh, now, f hopefully, this will be enough by the time all these star fruits are done. We're not going to do them all right now, but look, we have even more. Hopefully, that'll be enough to replenish our stock down there. All right. Yeah. Oh, man. We got lots of stuff. Flounder. Coconuts. Tubers. Bananas. We should probably bring a couple bananas back with us. Oh, no, wait, we got bananas there because we have the trees. Never mind, we're fine. Uh, if I was... All right, so we don't have any of those there. Okay, let's... We should probably store some of you. We'll take the rest of this, I think. And we'll go over here. And we'll sell these guys. And we'll grab all of our seeds. And then we'll, we'll go look and see what we need to fish. Hey, finish up there. Thank you. Slacker. All right, there. Now, let's look at our cooking recipes. What do we need to find? Okay, we need a sunfish. No problem. Okay, sunfish. Should probably write that down. A salmon. All right, where's my sheet of paper? Look. All right, where's my pen? My favorite pen is lost. Here it is, I found it. So we need salmon and sunfish. Salmon and sunfish. Isn't this exciting, everybody? What else can we do? Rainbow trout. Yes, that is also a summertime fish. 
rainbow trout. Okay. Uh, don't care about anything with actual, like, ingredients. Uh, sardines, I think, we cannot catch right now. I did not see them on the list. Which is a real shame. Oh, yeah, green algae, uh, white algae and some green algae. Yeah, we can make those. All right, no problem. That's easy enough to do. Oh, a poppy. We should probably grow a couple more just to make a poppy seed muffin because I might forget to uh, grab it. I haven't made a chowder? What the heck? Or snails? What am I doing with my life here? Squid ink ravioli. I think I have a squid ink left somewhere. Oh, taro root. Okay, so we do need some taro root. Okay, well, let's make that while we're here. Taro root, huh? Shrimp? Yeah, we have those. Crabs? I think we have those. Okay, taro root, though. All right. Well, I think we have some in a... Yeah, here we go. Any four of those? We got a little kitchen right here. Look at this. There it is. Boom. Done. Fabulous. Uh, you know what? Just for giggles, let's just leave this in here forever. I think that'll be great. <laughs> we'll get back around to it, never fear. Okay. Well, let's go fishing. Uh, I think we have to go fishing in the river to get the sunfish. Let's just double check that. Do, 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 fishing. Okay. Tuna. That wasn't on our list. Rainbow trout is in the river and the lake. All right. Uh, sunfish is in the river. Okay. Uh, it was, was there any salmon here? Salmon, 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 salmon. Uh, no. Okay. So I guess we just go fish in the river to get some sunfish and some rainbow trout. Let's go. And grass starters. We need grass starters. Will I remember that? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I might forget again. It's possible. It's possible. Okay, let's go fishing. Alright. Well, you know, it's good to have goals. Don't you think? Something to do, a plan of action to take, that sort of thing. What do we get? Well, hello there, Rainbow Trout. You are exactly one of the things we are looking for. It's so nice to see you today. I'm pretty sure that is not a sunfish. Sunfish are not this excitable. Pretty sure that's a pike. Yep, pretty sure. Or it could be a Dorado. Well, hello, Dorado. Hello, wild bait. Hello, person who lives by the river. Do, 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 do. I'm getting really hungry. It is almost lunchtime here. And uh, I should probably think about what I'm going to eat. Because what I'm going to feed to some of the other folks uh, staying at my house right now is not what I want to eat. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to go and like grab my lunch, eat it, and then make their lunch. I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's what's happening. So yes, we'll see how that goes. Boom. A chub. Oh man. All right, game. I would like a sunfish, please. And a bream. We need a bream. Yeah, we need that too. We need some sunfishes and a bream. Is that would that be plural technically of that? Sunfishes? Or would it be like sheep and sheep? Where you don't make it plural. Uh-oh, Elliot's coming. Elliot, no! Elliot, no! I'm sorry. I'm just fishing over here. Please, don't be mad. I couldn't move. I had already cast my pole. There's a sunfish. You know, it'd be awesome is if we got a fish on our fi uh, fishing pole and... Uh, and just took no energy to fish. That'd be pretty great. Because the way it's looking right now, we might have to go and eat something and come back. Which is unfortunate. Let's grab a chest. 
Oh, goodness. wonder what exciting things we're going to get from the chest today. You never know in Stardew what you're going to get from the chests. Sometimes you get really amazing things. Sometimes you don't. Also, I don't think I have a Nautilus shell. And that is kind of irksome, because I'm going to need it for the fish pond. And if I remember correctly, they don't... They're, they're like a winter item, so... Don't really find them any other time. Lots of treasure chests. Although I do believe that you can get them in treasure chests while fishing. Which is important to note. It is important to note. I love this pirate hat, by the way. The only thing I don't love right now about the outfit is the fact that the pants change color. I just need, like, dyeable, uh, pantaloon things. Like, puffy pants. Genie pants? Whatever you want to call them. Uh, kind of like Emily's pants that she gives you, which are blue. But, like, I don't want light blue. I want, like, a darker blue color. That'd be nice. We're not going to catch this fish, I don't think. It is too tricksy for me. It's too much. It's, it's just... It's... It's... Yeah. No. Could you please... Hello, friend. Would you mind just staying inside the green bar? <laughs> Thank you. Are Dorados worth money? Like, are they... Are they useful? <laughs> I don't know. I've not really ever tried to catch a lot of them before. Are they worth catching if you can catch them? I don't... Maybe? I guess we'll find out when we sell them at the end of the day, because I don't need them for cooking. I wonder also why there's no recipe. Is there a recipe for chub? Or is it just like, they're good for the any fish recipes, I guess. Yeah, we are going to have to go eat something. We did catch some sunfish, though, which is good. And I don't think bream... I don't think you can catch them until 7, so... We can run back up to the house real quick and grab some food. Come on back now. Oh, it's, it's lovely. Okay, let's let's take care of that then. We'll put a few things away, and then we'll come back on down. And we'll catch some bream. You gotta break up your day in Stardew a little bit, you know? Wanna just... Um, work all the time. And yeah, plus we have some things we have to... Gotta pick up over here. Yes. Oh yeah, we got all the stuff in the greenhouse we gotta pick too. So it's not like there's not things, you know, that we have to do. Let's grab all the resin. I don't think we need this much resin, but hey. It's fine. Could you actually grab it? Thank you. Like I'm hitting the button. What you doing? Just do what I want you to do. There we go. There we go. Alright, horse, stay there. I'll be back. Never fear. Stuff away. Okay, so we need um, four of these, and I think two of those. A regular urchin can be sold. We don't need the chubs. We don't need the starfish. We don't need these geodes. We don't need the honey or the chub. All right. Let's go cook. Should be on this one. There we are. Pale broth and algae soup. Very good. Toss those in here. We have room in the fridge. No, I mean, kind of, but not. Not really. Uh, Dorados, I think we can sell. We don't need you for anything. Whoop. Hold on a second. Yeah, I said we do have a sunfish. Okay. Did we lose a sunfish somewhere? We did. I thought maybe. And uh, yeah, here. Some of these guys too. Yeah. Do I have a bream in here? No, we have a tuna though. No breams. Oh yeah, clam chowder. Yeah, we gotta make a clam chowder. A chowder. Gotta make a chowder. Where's that at? Ah, we're out of milk. Well. That's not really a problem. Holy truffles, Batman. 
Hello, Gouda the Cow. How are you today? Are you in search of <laughs> sustenance and pleasure? A new ostrich is hatched. It's a big one. Oh. Um. Uh. Oh. Oh, a name for an ostrich. What's a good name for an ostrich? Huh. That. Ooh. A good ostrich name. Hmm. Hmm. Um. George. George the ostrich. I like it. Some of you will get that reference as well. <laughs> there we are. There we have milk. It's exciting. Okay. Let's grab everything in here. Grab all the ancient fruits, make some wine. <laughs> then we'll try and go down and fish and catch a bream or two. And then a little more cooking to do. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Just wait till we get to have to try to craft everything. That's, that's gonna be real entertaining. Real entertaining. I say it very sarcastically and slowly. Real entertaining. Alright, let's pick everything. Come on, come on, come on. We got stuff to do. Let's go. We have valuable, valuable time here is uh, being used up by this. Time is money, money is time. You know what I'm saying? Hey, speaking of time, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I, uh, again, remain somewhat shocked that as many people watch these videos as do. Um, yeah. Typically, when I put out a video, I just assume no one will ever watch it. That's my... That's my go-to default assumption. That, that way you're not disappointed if, in fact, no one does watch it. So, something to think about. Okay, let's throw milk in here. And we're just going to store some extra milk over, over, the, over there. Because that's important. Now then. We can... Have we made a rice... Oh, yes, we have. Oh, it tells you on here, too. Oh, that is so great. Oh, yeah. I like it. Chowder. Perfect. Anything else? Lobster bisque we've already made. Okay. Put the chowder away. Alright. Now then. To the... Wait. Hold up. Um, what can we eat? Do I have a cactus fruit laying around? Only one. 104 energy for a leak. Man, that should be fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, now then, where's another leak at? Because we gotta sell one. Have we sold a goat milk? I don't I don't know. Look, we have now. Okay, and an ostrich egg we're just gonna sell. There. I don't know if we needed to sell any of those things, but I'm pretty sure at least one of them we did. Okay, stuff over there, stuff over here, stuff over here, and over there. Oh. Well, that's not going to go anywhere. Uh, we need to sell a void egg. Yeah. And uh, truffles, here we go. We need more oil makers. I don't, how do you make an oil maker? What do we need? What do we need for an oil machine? Where is the oil? There it is. Hardwood, gold, and slime. Ooh. I don't know how much of those things we have, honestly. Okay, well, we have some extras. All right. What about over here? How are we doing in here? Clearly, we need more wood and uh, resources here so that we can 
get more uh, kegs in the same place. It's kind of obvious at this point. Yeah. We still have 20 left. Is that 20? I guess we're going to find out. Oh, that was 20. Alrighty. Well, good times. And now it's 9 o'clock. Let's go fishing. We can't catch a bream here. And then we'll ship a couple more things, and we'll try to cook one or two more things, and then uh, we'll call it an episode. I think that's that's good. We do have to get around to giving some more gifts. Some more gifts. Uh, not this episode, but uh, probably the next one. Ooh, oh, here we go. Someone's excitable. Ah, oh, a little boop. Where did... Ow, oh, ow. Oh. We almost had it. We almost had the purple pike. Purple pike. How are you? That would have been great. I would have been very excited to catch a iridium quality pike. Would have been nice. Are you a bream by chance? That would also be great. Yes! Fabulous. Uh, I don't know that you need it for more than one recipe, but just in case, we'll try to catch another one. Maybe we'll get lucky. It would be nice. Again, just in case. And no. That is something we don't need. I mean, anyway, I, ca I caught that Dorado, and of course, in my head, I started singing a song. <laughs> it's an older song. El Dorado. Anyway. That's all you're getting out of that song. But uh, it was playing in my head. Do, do, do. A chewing stick. Oh. Do, 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 do. The kids watched. Um, oh gosh, what was the name of that movie the other day? Hotel Transylvania, I think is the name of it. Like a vampire runs a hotel or something and doesn't let his daughter explore the world because she's a vampire and can only go out at night and he doesn't want her to, like, you know die, essentially. I think that was the name of it. I, I'm pretty sure because I looked at my wife and I instantly sang Welcome to the Hotel Transylvania <laughs> It's a lovely place. Anyway, and so as soon as I as soon as I got uh, welcome out of my mouth, she instantly just joined in singing as well. It was pretty funny. And uh, we had a good chuckle about it. <laughs> it was uh, it was entertaining. Okay, so we can finally make this baked fish. Oh, it tells you how many you have available to you as well. Oh, look at that information is nice. Okay, done there. Um, what else was I trying to cook? Fried eel? No, no sashimi? No. I thought it was over here. Um because we needed the rainbow trout for it. What was it? Let's let's just look. Maybe we're missing another ingredient. Uh a green algae. Aha! See, we were missing an ingredient. Ah. Green oh that was seaweed. Green algae. And a shrimp. We need a shrimp and a crab. And a squid ink. Because we needed to cook some others. Now, what was the shrimp one? Where did, where did that get off to? Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Was it on the next page? I think it was like... Escargot. Snails and garlic. Okay. Um, there's a snail. Was garlic springtime? It was garlic. Okay, that one's done. We can cook that. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. what's over here? Was it one of these? Okay, uh, tomato. We need a tomato. Two tomatoes. Okay, two tomatoes. I need a horseradish. 
We can grab that. That's over here. Wrong chest. Oops. Wrong button. Oops. Wrong button. Horse reddish. Okay. There was something else that I needed, though. As an ingredient from this page. Let's see. Crab cakes. Um, I think all of those things are in the fridge. Oh, a maple bar. We haven't made any of those? Well, let's grab a maple syrup while we're out here. Maple syrup. It's delicious. Okay. Let's cook some stuff. All right. Now, if we're looking through, we let's see. Here we go. Trout soup is one that we need to make. All right. And down on this page, squid ink ravioli. A shrimp cocktail. Lobster bisque. Just to make sure we have it. Crab cake. Maple bar. Okay. Fiddlehead risotto. Escargot. Oh, we need another garlic. We can make the risotto. Garlic. Garlic, I need you in my life. Mm, garlic is so good. Pretty much any time you start cooking something with butter, garlic, and onion, it doesn't matter what it is. You're just like, oh, that smells so good. I love it. And risotto. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Well, we have made a lot of our cooking dishes now, and that's very exciting. Look at all this food. We're gonna need another chest <coughs> pretty soon. Um, because what I would like to do is have one of every food available, and then I want to sell them all and take notes on which ones are worth the most money, so we can do that other key challenge. Mm hmm A herring! Bum, bum, bum. I think we can sell those two fish and our wine. Let's check on our wine. How we doing? Still not purple. Okay. Well, that means we can sell a couple more things. Horsey, you can go back in your little home here, okay? There we go. Thank you for being a good horse today. All right. Well, that ought to bring in some, some, some guyish. We gotta take that picture with us. Do we have more pictures in here? We do have some more pictures. Ah, are there any that I want to take to the island with me? Hmm. Um. No. No. I think I just want to take this with me. Actually, that belongs on the island. So we need something else there. That's like. You know, that's nice-ish. Here we go. Let's... There. There. We at least still have a picture there. Yeah, it's important. Okay. Do we miss anything? No. All right. Well, time for sleeping. Ah, good episode, friends. Look at all that money. <laughs> we certainly made lots and lots of money. Uh, which is nice. We sold some some things that I don't think we've sold before. And... Uh, we got some money. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dorados are okay for fishing, I guess. 187 is not bad for a gold, which means a, a, if you can get an Iridium one, you'd be, be getting some decent cash from that. A bit of Iridium ore we didn't need. Okay. $368,000. Not too shabby. I can get behind that. And uh, hopefully you can too. Well, that brings us to the end of another couple of days in Stardew Valley. Here we are, summer of year three, moving right along with our objectives to try to uh, do everything in the game. I think it's going along pretty well, personally, and I hope you do too. As always, friends, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, take care. <laughs>